What a powerful image as Gilbert's fight career comes to a close, or has it? Welcome to Tough Talk, your home for all things The Ultimate Fighter. Karen Bryan here alongside middleweight champion of the world, Mr. Michael Bisping. And we do, of course, have Diego and Gilbert here with us tonight. And, um, you know, we all just watched this together. And I got to say, it got a little bit uh, dusty. In the yes. room here. Um, the room, uh, uh, very emotional. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Is, is that something you knew before the fight that you were going to retire if it didn't go your way? Uh, I thought about it. I did uh, I did think about it. and um, But at the moment, it just kind of hit me. It just really hit me. And so I was inspired to do it right then and there. And, and I felt it was right. But what was it that made you do it? Like You know, you know for me, I felt like that loss was telling me that it, it, it was my last shot. And I didn't want to start over and, and start fighting, you know, these tough guys and making no money. So I was like, if I was going to quit, this is the moment to do it. Live on TV where everybody can mm -hmm. see me. And it was just a perfect moment. And the fight was so awesome with Diego. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. if I'm going to lose and retire off a loss, that was the way to do it. Well, I was just mm -hmm. going to say, let's keep it real. That fight was very, very close. Yeah. Are, are you it surprised was. that he retired after such a close, great fight? In, yes and no, you know, because we, we talked a lot. We were actually roommates, you know. He slept on a bed right next to mine. So we talked a lot, and, you know, we were talking about just fighting outside. There's really not a lot of money involved. You got to fight tough guys to make it back into the UFC. So, you know, it was something we talked about, and he told us, man, this might be it. And, you know, after a fight like that, I wasn't surprised. It was like, man, that's the way to go out, you know. Left it all out there, and that's the way to do it. All right, well, I'm glad we have both of you here. We do have a jam-packed show. Diego and Gilbert are going to be with us all show long. In just 10 minutes, we'll show you an exclusive sneak peek of next week's two-fight episode. And surprise, surprise, Cody and TJ get into it once again. But first, Mike and I hold ourselves to a certain standard on the show. However, <laughs> the Trump of Twitter trolling, RJ Clifford does not. He's standing by in the troll booth researching our guests and polling social media using the hashtag Tough Talk RJ. What have you got? Yes, Karen, this is true. I'm out here just trying to have fun, just like the guys on the party bus did. So uh. before we show our first tweet of the day, let's take a look back at Gilbert being the life of the party. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert's just sitting in the back corner of the bus, grumpy look on his face. You know, typical Gilbert, man, just sitting there, not enjoying himself. I honestly do not know what Gilbert's uh, deal is. You know, one day he's up, next day he's down. I don't know if it's pressure or expectation. You just can't get a read on him because he's just not consistent. I can't even tell who the guy is. So our first question, pretty simple one. Gabe asks, why does Gilbert hate fun? <laughs> Gilbert, you got an answer. Yes, Gilbert. Why, Why do you, do you hate, you fun? hate fun? Oh, man. If you, yeah, if you know me, if you know me, first and foremost, they call me Chocolate Thunder. Oh. Okay, all right. So I'm all about fun. But at that moment, man, I was just so focused. I got to fight this beast over here. Yeah. I don't have time to party and act stupid on the bus. I'm sorry, guys. I wasn't there to be anybody's friend. I was there to fight, train, and also I was cutting weight. You're there to win yeah. the show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Simple as that. I exactly. hear you. I hear you. Well, I had I... a good time when I was on there, though, and uh, I still won. I whatever. Figured, whatever. <laughs> Michael's a special case. Listen, um, when we go to the break, I want to hear about who was working the poll the best. But first, we also want to get you guys involved. Use hashtag Tough Talk, and your tweets could make it on the air. Uh, we do want to go back to this party bus, though, Diego. You had a fight as well, mm -hmm. but somehow you were able to have a little bit more fun and, and take in the moment. Uh, I just enjoy every moment, you know, like I just, uh, and nothing really bothers me, you know, I just go with it, like, any, nothing really bothers me, really, like, I just have fun, I'm having fun all the time, I'm smiling all the time, and... Tell the just... truth, did you have a few drinks? <laughs> no, not there, not there, I'm a guy that I cut a lot of weight as well, and, you know, it's just... Can't afford that. I've got to say, the level of conversation was very high brow. It seemed like there was a bunch of intelligent conversation <laughs> going on. Was that part of the problem? Uh, no, no. I mean, like the guys, the guys were having fun. Good, have fun. I, don't, I really don't care. But I'm there to fight, man. Like, I mean, I had one mission. I got kids to feed. I don't got time to be ha having fun on the bus, man. But you know, afterwards. You know, we did have a good time the last day. We yeah, did party yeah, yeah. it up. So, <laughs> yeah. hey, I, I could be chocolate thunder someday. <laughs> someday. Yeah. Well, what did you guys think of the fact that it was actually Cody, your opposing coach, who took you guys out? Uh, he wasn't... I mean, he picked us up. Yeah. But, but uh, TJ was also there. Yeah, for so, sure. But, uh, I mean, Cody's a good guy, so it was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So, we need to talk about something. I'm assuming it, you were trying to warm up or something like that, but, but you <laughs> went to the bathroom and you were pacing and running and jogging we on the spot. You went to the bathroom. Yeah, 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 what yeah. on earth was going on there? Okay. Please. First and foremost, I have, like, a watch that, like, 
count my steps. Yeah, and, I've got one. Uh, yeah, I don't uh, run in the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Because, it was. It has seconds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it counts as steps. Yeah, it, it count my steps yeah. for calories. What does that got to do with your bodily functions? Well, no, because I was eating too much, so I was like, I need to burn some calories. So I went to the bathroom to jog a little bit. To, uh, I cut a lot of weight, man. I could walk around about. Were you just trying to get the party started? Yeah, so yeah, exactly. Like I, I had high feet. I had to move. I had to move. You know? <laughs> okay, moving on. I do want to talk about this fight because it really, really was a good one. Um, mm. And in this case, TJ obviously being the coach for both of you, he decided to coach each of you instead of just removing him, himself from the situation. Mm. Diego, do you, did you like that approach mm -hmm. or would you have rather have him just step aside? No, absolutely. You know, I liked it. You know, he wanted to be involved and, you know, it's what it did. We're, we're all veterans there, you know. We know exactly what was going to happen, you know. I knew what I had to do. He knew what I was going to do. I knew what he was going to do, so... You know, it was great for him to still help us out. And, you know, at the beginning, we picked our coaches. They didn't say that, but in the beginning, we were like, hey, uh, I want this guy. Gilbert wants this guy. I want this guy. I want that guy. And that's how we did it. And then TJ told each coach, hey, work with this this guy, work with him. And it was just, it was awesome. It wasn't no um, no emotions there or anything. You know, it was great. No egos. No egos, exactly. Made the best man win. Exactly, Type absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, in terms of the fight, in terms of the best man winning, you really came alive in the third round. Obviously, mm -hmm. the fight was one-to-one. -one. Right. Was it just that you felt that pressure now? It's now or never? No, it's just I, I, I'm a guy that, you know, as the fight goes on, you know, I just, I, I get better, you know. Like, I, I like it. I'm in deep waters, you know. I love going to deep waters, you know. Every fight that I lost has been on the first round, you know. I really don't lose in much decisions, you know. I just love to fight. The longer it is, the better for me, you know. I like to go to deep waters. And I knew it was a close fight, but they didn't show it. Whoever wins the third round gets the fight. So I was like, man, I win this round, I got it. So. Well, Gilbert, you're doing all the talking. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Diego, you're doing all the talking. <laughs> Gilbert, you're sitting there like the fun police. Yeah, <laughs> Did the judges make the right decision? I that have, was your uh, moment. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. I, I love Diego, and he earned the win in the third round. But I actually believe I won the first two rounds. You know, it, it, it was super close, but I, I thought I kind of ended the first round on top and landed some ground to pound. So to me, I thought I won it, but you know, the judges made a decision. I had to live with it. Did he surprise you with the takedown at the start of he, the third? He did, man. His wrestling is really good. I was, I was expecting the, 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 to take him down. Yeah, you know, the, the, I mean, the, him being Brazilian, I thought it was going to be more <laughs> jiu-jitsu, but his wrestling was actually pretty good. So uh, all around, man, it was a great fight. And I was, I was uh, honored to be a part of it. Well, it was a great fight, but Gilbert, the interesting thing is before the matchup, you talked about how much better you were getting. So I want to take a look at something you said on the show. Let's take a look. I'm not done yet. And honestly, I feel like I'm just, I'm just now learning the right things to do. I hate to quit now when I'm just getting good at it. So I got a little bit more left in me. So again, we need to revisit the retirement question there because if things are just now coming together and you really can see how much better you're, you're getting, why, why stop? Man, that's a tough question to, uh, to answer because I mean, I'm physically in shape. Uh, I have no injuries. I do believe I'm very competitive skill-wise. Um, it's just the way the game is set up now. Uh, unfortunately, if you're not fighting in, in the big show, you're just not making real money. And I have kids. I have a business. I'm, 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 I'm actually highly educated. I got two master's degrees. I got so many more things I can be doing. Uh, it, it's very tough for me to walk away. Uh, I, I tell you what, if Dana White or Sean Shelby, if you call, whatever, you know, I'd be there. I, I'd jump back in. But that's my thing is sometimes even the guys that don't win can still get a contract. So it, maybe it was a little premature to, to, to say goodbye at that moment. Yeah, I know. It was. And uh, trust me, everybody have said that to me. It's like, that was pretty, that was like a dumb move. But you know what? <laughs> I, I, I was emotional and uh, it was such a great fight. And like, I wanted to leave on a high note. And, and to me, that was just the highest note you could leave. For me, though, to be honest, I mean, the fight was that close. And, I, and I'll be honest, I really, really enjoyed the fight. And I thought you had a fantastic performance. I feel like you still have a lot in you. Now, as a fighter myself and as a father and a family man, I understand uh, if, if this is, isn't going to go your way, you want to put your focus into something else and make the most out of your life. But that was a great fight, man. I feel like you still got something left in you. I, I mean, I do too, and uh, I guess we see how the future pans out. I tell you what, I'm always in the gym. Every day, I'm yeah. in the gym, twice a day. I, I live by my motto, hard work, dedication. Sure. And so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm always ready to step up. So, but I, it just got to be the right situation. I'm not going to fight just to fight. I can see that because you're nearly as buff as me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, I'm, we can... I'm, I'm actually a little bigger, but we're not going to talk about that. Oh, <laughs> we can have a pose-off. Oh. We can have a flex-off during the break, guys.